The Sichuan Council now claims to have a plan to address hijacked buildings in the capital, but the city plans to use the courts to buy out or even expropriate properties. Corporate and shared services MMC Kingsley uh, Wickling says that people are flocking to their metro. So obviously, as you know, there is a worldwide phenomenon as far as um, derailing buildings are concerned because people are flocking to uh, the cities and the metros. And we obviously have learned lessons from other cities. So this is a worldwide phenomenon. And a city of Tswani, uh, we are the gateway through the northern parts of Africa. So we find a large number of people flocking to the metro and people looking for opportunities. And that results obviously in people that are seeking accommodation and cheap accommodation. And we have got a number of um, hijacked and derailing buildings in the city. And we want to take it a proactive approach to ensure that we deal with this matter properly. Yeah, so as far as private properties are concerned, obviously we would uh, consider expropriation, putting those properties back in the market, getting developers and people are interested in investing in uh, the inner city of Tony. And that is how we will approach that. And that will assist us with uh, uh, footing the bill as far as private properties are concerned. Obviously our own buildings, we have to uh, foot that bill. And, and that is why we're starting with a preventative approach.